Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo 3. And in tonight's episode, I am joined by a good friend of mine, Dark Dragon. Chin Lee, the evil monk. And uh, we are going to be doing something different today, something that we haven't done yet. Really something I haven't shown on camera yet. Uh, and you want to tell them what it is? Well, uh, as we showed on a previous episode, we will take a puzzle ring and throw it in a canine's cube. We can open a portal to greed. Well, this one is actually something they added in later on because of everybody demanding it. You, everybody loved the cow level in Diablo 2 so West much that they wanted recovery. it in this game. You can stop being so finally, so Blizzard or at least at your normal level put it in. Uh, and and it's called not the I'm cow just... level. Thank you. Level. Thank you. And the way you do it is you take one of these full fine varnishes, you put it in the cube just like you do normally, and you transmute it. And poof. Now, what uh, what should we expect from this uh, this uh, cow level? Lots of cows. Like actual cows, uh, like zombie yes. cows or what? Um, actually, hold on. I forgot that there's. Uh, shrines and everything here. Let me swap over to my nemesis. Can you leave this place once you've entered it? Yeah, I just did. I will enjoy this. Alright, ready? Yep. Here come some elites. I'm oh, crap. Team. Wow. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, a very, very high level. One hit. Killed me. Guys. That is nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and revive. I am going to run as far away from the battle as possible. Before they kill uh, me again. As you can for more. <laughs> yeah, but thankfully they know exactly who, who they should go after, and that's not me. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Hey, as long as I can. Sacrifice the monk. Uh, I mean, you're going to do tremendous amount of damage anyway, so. Your guy has some, just uh, some crazy stuff on him. Wow, look at that, guys. My life. Just from running around, I'm not even attacking anything. I'm just trying to avoid the spells and all this stuff going on. Because everything here is way, pets. way too high. My, yeah, my pets are out. Um, they don't really do too much damage. Need help. They do uh, try to protect me at times, but uh, normally they get bogged down in fights. It's not like in other games where you will get a pet and that pet will stay with you. And if you run too far away from an enemy that it was already attacking, it will simply uh, you know, leave that enemy and come you know, help you out again doesn't really work that way in this one. They uh, tend to get a target, and they just stick with it, uh, kind of disregarding well, whether you're actually getting attacked or not. Kind of. They actually target uh, whatever's nearest you. Mm, not really. Not from what I've seen. Because there's so many enemies on the map, from what I can actually uh, see, when my guys uh, get a target, they stay on it, even if I'm halfway across the map. Oh, yeah. They, no they tend to stick on the target they pick. Right. They try to choose one that's closest to you. Oh, at first, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. A after a certain point, especially with me just running around like this, uh, you know, like I'm dead again because they trapped me in there. I couldn't get out. One shot, you know, is just uh, really all hey, it takes. Hey, don't, don't you remember your, um, uh, dub, 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 your uh, wrists that you have? When you're casting fire bats, you get, like, 80,000 life on hit? Yeah, but that would mean I would actually have to stop. Yeah. What you do is put them on the uh, vampire bats, because once you start using those bats, there's no mana cost. No, I mean, I get it, and it, and it works. The problem behind it mainly is, is I get one shot, like literally one shot, and I'm dead. So I don't have time to cast not even one spell, because it doesn't matter if it kills me 100% of my life, I'm not going to survive that hit in the first place. Well, so, yeah, for me, it, it doesn't work at all. It also makes you take 30% less damage. I guess maybe that might let me survive one shot, but I doubt it. I think they're hitting me for so much damage that, uh, you know, 30% or even, you know, 80% reduction in damage probably still would not be enough for my guy to survive. Like, this is just dramatically higher team. level than any... Like, I'm not even close to the battle, and every so often I take 75% damage just because I'm on the map, apparently. So, yeah, a little bit overpowered for me. <laughs> oh, would you is, like uh, me to lower the level a little? No, no, I mean, it's fine. It's it's interesting to see this to show people that, you know, if you come in with a friend, you may uh, may not still be able to help out all that much. You know, like, yeah, you might be able to get some good loot kind of hanging in the back if they don't mind the fact that you're not going to be able to really participate. But beyond that, um, it's kind of interesting to see just how hard this place can get. Oh, it's the cow level, man. 
man. It's it's tough. Let's see, uh, I'm doing a little bit of damage now. See, it looks like you got the the aggro on a far enough away that uh, they're not really coming after me, but still, I can't really do too much back here. I do like this little oh, spider. Yeah. That Your spider queen over there was. Yeah, and that's I believe from one of the uh, the set you know, the set piece that I have. That's why he's uh, spawning. Kind of a cool thing. I do like the the necro classes. The uh, you know the the fact that you can get items in the game that will give you pets that you don't even otherwise have access to with even your spells. Oh, I got some green pants there. Definitely take a look at well, what you, those are. Well, you have access to that spider queen, but it only lasts for so long. But with the two set for what you're talking about is uh, it makes it last forever and it goes wherever you tell it when you cast your spider in a certain spot it'll run over there right uh, but it does really really good damage I think it's what 2,000 percent per second or something yeah, yeah it's uh, it's pretty decent but I mean these little minions behind me I don't remember ever really having those either uh, maybe it was one of the, the skills that I just never used because there was a lot of things that you can make your character and tweak them so that he's a little different from any of the oh, other those, characters. Those are there. your fetishes. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's been, what, like two, three weeks since we played last, guys. So, you know, I'm still learning the game yeah. because, uh, you know, I may be max level, but if you watch the videos, I leveled incredibly quickly thanks to the people I was grouping with. And so my entire time on this game really isn't anywhere close to what most of you will have to spend by the time you get to this kind of good gear and this uh, level uh, you start going through these missions uh, you probably have a lot more time invested so you know a lot more than I do. I like hanging out with my friends, I like going through games that I've never played before. These aren't really uh, tutorial videos, uh, thankfully we do have a lot of people who join us who know a great deal about the game and they share that information with you guys. As far as uh, me, I'm just giving you that perspective Maybe uh, if you're thinking about playing this game you never have, what's it like to just kind of jump into it now that the game's been well established? And there's a lot of people out there playing it. They've been playing it for a long time. Uh, what are you What are you going to be uh, expecting to get into? And that's kind of what my experiences have been, hanging out with uh, just really talented players uh, that are very well equipped, very high level. And this is basically what it is. You might have to wait in the back for quite a long time before you actually do anything. And there's nothing to be ashamed of on that one. It's very good people that you're with. I oh, no. Because I still get a benefit by you being here, even with you not really helping me kill that much. Exactly, yeah. Because I get 40% more XP, so I'll Paragon faster. I get better drops because the mobs are higher level being here. I mean, it's still good for everybody. Yeah, and especially if you're playing the same uh, class as your You need to get back to the wall. Or are you getting killed? No, we're gonna die in a minute if we don't. Why? What's going on? Notice how more and more and more keep coming. <laughs> oh, it's because you're in the middle. You're just uh, getting aggro. Yeah. With these guys. Yeah. We're gonna end up aggroing the queen or the king, and then we're gonna be hurting. I can pull back. Oh, you'll be hurting. Uh, it does seem like if you get far enough away, though, that your pets will eventually respawn to you. Um, yep. But it has to be pretty far. If you're running around a, a group of enemies. Uh, that's not going to be far enough. If you actually go off in a different direction, like you're literally trying to run away from them, uh, then they will kind of uh, pop back to you. But I don't, I don't know yeah. if you can really do that as much as you can it's run a, into other enemies. It's about your screen's distance, and they'll pop right back to you. Well, they'll snap to you, as they call it. Right. Which is nice. I mean, I remember in some of the other games out there, and I'm not talking about Diablo, but just MMOs in general, uh, that if your pet got stuck on a wall or something like that, that was pretty much it. It was just going to be stuck there until you found it and you went back. You might be able to use a spell that would uh, summon it to you, but mm -hmm. they, those were pretty rare, and then, of course, you had to have it, you know, mimmed and just uh, a, lot of, Overburdened. a lot of stuff that you didn't normally really want to have to do, so it just wasn't the easiest thing to do. But now these games, they tend to do it for you automatically, which is uh, nice. You know, it's nice that they take the time and they uh, they put that little thing in there for you. Now I have to build up. Because everybody complained real hard for years and years and years. Um, well, yeah, because oh, it's, it's just kind of annoying, you know, yeah. having to do it yourself, especially when you have a lot of other stuff to, to handle. I mean, if you think about games that uh, would 
really uh, kind of show you exactly what we're talking about. A test Think of, of the, the game like The Sims, where you control the, the little characters, they gotta go to the bathroom, they gotta eat, they gotta uh, go to work. You get to control all those aspects. When The Sims first came out, you had to like micromanage everything about them. I'm gonna die right there, yeah, I just said. Uh, you had to micromanage everything about them, and it was kind of uh, interesting at first, but then after like the first 20-30 uh, minutes of doing that, of telling them to go to the bathroom every four seconds, I got a little old. And that's the same way it is in these MMOs. Like when you first have to, uh, you know, call your pets back to you, you don't mind it too much. But then uh, later down the road, you're like, oh, I've already done this for the millionth time. Can I please stop doing it every four seconds? Uh, I, I, you know, just want to break. I want to be able to enjoy the game because it has a lot of other facets that you just never really get to uh, get to check out that well because you're too busy doing other stuff. Yeah, so much micromanagement. You can't enjoy anything else because that's all you're doing. Yeah. You know, then of course, if you don't do enough micromanaging, it seems like the game is uh, too easy. And so it's it's a very, very fine balance of, uh, you know, making sure you're doing what you need to do on that. So I cannot tell anymore. You are evil and you. This fight is over. There we go. So let's go ahead and uh, look at some of these while you're up there killing. I got a few <laughs> items here. Well, I, you know, I can't Actually, help out too much up there anyway, so. Yeah. I'll go up but there. I'm full. I, I have to run the to town real quick. So I will be right back in a few seconds. All I'm going to do is salvage, throw everything into my bank, and come back. Okay, I'll do the exact same thing then. Returning to town. And I'm only going to salvage the stuff that uh, we don't want. You know, it's the white items, the uh, blue ones, and the yellow ones. Those will give you uh, items that you can use to, uh, you know, refine or make other stuff better. But in the end, uh, you're not really ever going to wear a blue item if you have a set piece. At least that's, you know, kind of the uh, the feeling I've got. I haven't seen anything even come close to uh, being as good as what I'm wearing once I get the yeah. set pieces and, uh, you know, those kind of things. So... Uh, the other thing is, is uh, they give you the crafting materials to make better stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know, that that alone is a good enough reason to uh, to make sure that uh, you do it as, as much as uh, as possible. You do also want cash, so if you need to go back and sell the stuff to get a little bit of uh, money out of it, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But as you guys can see here, you don't really need to do that. You can just do a few read runs. And save yourself the time of picking up all those items or, you know, just transfer them over and get those resources. Because you're probably going to need it at some point. Because, you know, you were telling me before, when you've gone ahead and uh, tried to get the right spot, the right uh, you know, thing that you want on an item, you might have to do it 10, 20, 30 times, and it gets more expensive the longer you there do it. I've rewarded one item over a thousand times. Yeah, and that's nuts, guys, because it, it would really be insanely expensive at that point. I don't even want to know like what that would cost well, you. About 540 million. A hit? Like yeah. Every time you did it? Dang, that's... So yeah, you're not going to get that as far as I'm aware by selling items. I don't know what um, what some of the uh, set pieces would sell to a vendor. I've never tried selling one. I doubt it's going to be for that much. So you're still probably nah, going to get more. You, you never sell uh, legendary items. You just salvage them. Right, but if you the... did want to sell them just trying to think of like what the, the vendor would actually pay for it. I doubt it's going to be that uh, It much. gives you a price right on the bottom corner. Holy crap. This dude has killed me like four times and all I've done is respawn. Like I can't even I can't even cast my spells. He keeps casting like this green crud directly underneath where I'm standing. Yeah, I got a lot of poison, right? Oh, and you can see my little uh, golem did not split into a gazillion different pieces. Dang it. What in the world is killing me? I don't know what it is, but let's uh, let's revive back well, in town. Yeah, there's two elite packs here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know heal up my armor because as you can see right there, my armor is completely and totally shattered, and that's why my little guys weren't spawning. It was a big guy. <laughs> let's see, run over here and heal my guy real quick. Go down here. No, not trade repair. There we go. It's gonna cost me eighty-six thousand nine hundred and eighty-seven gold coins. To repair my armor, so yeah, so it does. So one pile of gold. Yeah, yeah. For us, it's not that big of a deal, <laughs> but you can see that it is going up in price as you get better and better gear. So just be uh, very yep. aware of that. 
and as you put in better gems. Let's go ahead and teleport to you. Yeah, so I mean, the better the item gets, the more money it's going to cost. And, you know, I, I guess I agree with that. It probably should be the case. Chest down. Oh, you went too far. I just saw a chest down here, so I was like, oh. Yeah. I figured you had already gotten it, but you yeah. Had. Nope. See, I'll come back this way. Your greed got the best of you. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just trying not to miss anything because my character really, really needs this stuff at this point. They're just, uh, they're too weak. Too weak to uh, pretty much do anything else until they get better gear. So it's kind of yeah. a vital thing for this guy to have. Alright, I'm just gonna, you're gonna love this. See how I'm killing him up through the wall? Just stand here like this and just... You die. Oh, <laughs> you're protected on that side? Yeah, because the wall crept him away from me. I think I was doing that uh, earlier on one of these areas. Dang it, wow, one shot. That is nuts. Okay, let's come over here, guys. I am going to see if I can get this uh, green one. The set of pants. I have to say, now that I've gotten a, you know, a fair sh share of um, set pieces, the pants seem to be the, the most common item. Like, I get pants all the cool. time. Yeah, do you get boots? No, no, no boots and pants and boots and pants. And pants. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, pants seem to be the common. I, I'm not sure why. I don't know why they did that. I would prefer it to be the breastplate, to be honest. That um, is usually like the best piece out of it, the set. It's different for everybody. Oh, so you're saying it's just completely random in my experiences that it's uh, the pants seem is well, not what other people will experience? Like I've mentioned. Before, you know how my nephew gets ancient gear like all the time, right? And I get uh, puzzle rings and varnishes all the time. You get pants. Yeah, see, that's weird. It's almost like you're saying the character when he's when he's created is given a set of uh, you know stats or skills behind the scenes that nobody else can see. Luck. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like luck, luck but, that your character has. but that's what I'm saying, like, they gave you a very specific type of luck, not just, oh, you're going to get more items more often, and it's just like, no, we're going to give you pants more often. Like, well, that's kind of very uh, strangely specific of a thing to give somebody, you know, like with you. Yeah, it, I don't know, that, that would suck, though, I mean, if you got a character that was just like, uh, oh, we're going to do is give you gloves, that's all you're ever going to get. That would mean me that you would really have to prove another place. Otherwise, you just never yeah. get stuff you want. But you can take those gloves, those set gloves that you get, and re roll them to another piece of that same set. I saw that coming. Why did you run into the beam? I didn't even see there was a beam there. All I saw was there was loot, and I was going for it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you can take the set gloves and roll them into set pants or into a set chest piece you are of the same set type. Okay, well, I mean, at least you can do that. That means uh, if you get just incredibly bad luck with just getting one type of thing, uh, you, can, you can still fix it. So I do mm -hmm. like how they, uh, they allow that to happen. Pick up all this. I would love to see at some point, though, the ability to make a set piece with, you know, the items that you find. You can. Oh, so you can just find regular materials on the ground that you don't need a, an actual set piece as the base. No. Okay, well, I didn't you know you can't. Could. You can't specifically 100% get that set piece, but you can make a set piece if you choose. Oh, so you can't choose what set piece you get, but you can just make a set piece. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, this is better than nothing. I would, you know, like I, to, I to have a little bit more that control way. in it. No, I, I prefer it that way because that way you can't just, okay, I'm going to get this sap, bam, I'm done. You know, there would be no challenge in that anymore about getting uh, the pieces. The challenge would be that you have to get the pieces to make that. You would make that very hard to get. But at least that way, you know, because I'm sure there's people on here who are playing for, you know, whatever amount of months that this, this uh, season has been out, right? I'm sure they have been trying to, I'm sure there's somebody out there who's been trying to get a very, very specific piece of a set and just has to see it drop. They may have gotten the other set several times, but they just can't get like them. Me. Exactly, right? And so for somebody like that who's played the level, you know, a million times and 
is really trying to get just that one piece. Give them the ability to make it themselves. I'm still trying to get an ancient lion's claw for my monk. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if you just give them the ability, it would kind of make it a little bit more enjoyable for them because they would eventually be able to get that full set. Like, right now, you've been trying it for so long and you still don't have it. They're coming out with the new season here and there's there's really not going to be a whole lot of point for you to uh, go back and, and play this character as much as you normally would. And so you just never really got to go to full level with that. And that's kind of a shame because you invested no, I, so I'll... much time in it. I'll still play this character. A little bit, but I mean, you know, you're going to be playing the, the character you make on your new season a lot more. You know, so like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're going to everybody you're going to. But I mean, that's that's the downside to this is that if you make it so hard for people to get it, even the uber players, even the, the players who would, uh, you know, spend a lot of time and effort to get those pieces, they never achieve Oh, dear God. Or are you going to die? Oh, dear God. I pulled the queen. Oh, she yeah, there she is. Yeah, the cow queen right there, guys. <laughs> All I got to say is she's real beefy. Let me see. Uh, I guess I should go back to town and then just gate back, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me do that sure. real quick, guys. Just do it be <laughs> before uh, you died? I was going to say do it before I kill her. Oh, did you kill her? No, she killed me. Oh, nice. She got lucky. So what do you do? Do you uh, teleport back in? No, I just stood right back up. Oh, that that's right, because that's your first dying. one. Yeah. I was going to say, with me, that would be my last one. I wouldn't be able to do anything else. There we go. Get some life back there. Let my pets beat on it for a little while. Need healing. Crap, what in the world gets me? I don't know. I think it's these that was that. Uh, that was that uh, elite pack that I was fighting. I brought it right to you. Oh. Cause the, I had to split it from the queen. Because the main thing I don't like about the queen is being a melee is every time you hit her, she does charge more. If you come over here, you'll see that the ground is like covered with electricity. Oh, I see. It. It's coming all the way down to where I'm at. So yeah, she. Yeah. Uh, she did some serious firepower there. Are you able to resist that at all or no? Uh, no. <laughs> Threatening shout. Your damage reduced three seconds left. Okay, so somebody's casting a debuff on me. Is that the, uh, the queen or no? Um, I don't know. I, I can't look right now. Let's come up here and get hit by one of these. No, just a little bit of damage, otherwise. Need oh, nice. Fantastic. She is pretty tough, and then she spawns those little, uh, what are those, little pets? Um, pets were. They look like she spawned, like, four or five creatures around her when she did some kind of, oh, uh... she clones herself. I cannot carry more. Uh, what does that do? Is that equal to the same amount of damage that she can produce, or...? Uh, what it does is, like, you have 922,000 health. You would make four clones of yourself, because she, she makes four clones, and then there's her, so there's five. Each of the four clones have half the health that she has. Not bad. That would actually be, uh, <laughs> very sucky if you're doing this solo. Now, have you done this solo? Mm hmm I try not to, actually. Because you don't get as, as good a loot, right? Yeah. It's way better with people. Well, I always think hanging out with friends, uh, it makes any game more enjoyable. So, yeah, I would definitely agree with that. But, uh, you know, I know some of you guys out there, you like to go the solo route. And nothing wrong with it. Again, you do get more loot and you do get better loot when you have more people in your group. But uh, it's not a necessity. I mean, you don't have to go that route. I tend to go that route. Uh, Dark Dragon tends to go that route. But, I mean, you guys at home, you're more than welcome to uh, play the game however you want to. Oh, we're just giving you no. tips. I mean, they we're have giving to you... play exactly how we tell them. <laughs> yeah, it's just, these are just tips on you know how to get the best stuff that you can possibly get in the few uh, trips that you want to take. Like if you want to go in here, uh, you know, gazillion times, you will eventually get everything that even people in groups will get. Uh, of course, you could always get lucky and get it on your first try. We're in a group that may take a uh, sixty, so you know, kind of evens itself out in all those regards. But 
Uh, you know, if you want the best chance, I am hurt. <laughs> I am hurt. Yeah, I'm dead. Forget the yeah. So you're running ahead and pulling everything, man. Well, I, I thought everything was in here, in here dead. I mean, you said you killed the queen, and what what more do you have in here to kill other than the queen, right? The rest of the cows and I, I the king. Oh, and the king? Yeah. That's gonna be he gets a little upset that you killed his wife. I can imagine that. Are, can you go in and find like anyone you want in order? Or? The queen roams around. The king is triggered. Oh, okay, so you do gotta kill the queen first. Then. Yeah. And how do you uh, trigger the the king? You by killing the queen? No, the, you'll you'll find the king. He has an exclamation point over his head, and you just go over and trigger him and. Oh, then you Begin could fight him first. Okay. Yeah, if you find him first. Oh, okay. Now, out of the two, which one's the hardest? Uh, for me, the queen. Now, because of that lightning that she does is just ridiculous for me. Right. right. But if you're playing, uh, you know, classic and sit in the back, maybe not such a big deal. Well, like, if I was playing uh, Witch Doctor, Wizard, Demon Hunter, Anything ranged, it wouldn't be so bad. But since I'm right up there on her, I'm getting hit by like 90% of the electricity that she pumps out. Right. And the faster you hit her, the more she pumps out. <laughs> the exact opposite from what you want as a mod, so. Yeah. So it's just you sit there, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Although and you were able to it, do it just fine. Yeah, well, I didn't say anything, but it was mainly because you weren't attacking her. Because if I you wasn't. Were, yeah, if you were attacking her, she would have been pumping out like five times the amount of electricity. Oh, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. The more you because, hit her, the faster those things come out. Yeah, and you use either fire bats or uh, rain of toads, and both of those tick off quick. So it, it would have definitely killed me a lot more. Yeah, and that's, you know, probably the best thing I could have done is just sit the back there because, uh, I mean, I would have been triggering that to go off more often, but the damage that I was doing would have been just, uh, that it would not have kind of uh, negated the amount of damage you were getting. Hey, you, you have such low self-esteem of your character. <laughs> I can't even take one hit. You know, like, one hit and he's dead on this level. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I mean, while you were fighting Oop, that... While you were fighting down the, uh, the cow queen, I was trying to kill just one of these little minions, one of the little guys that you, you kill in like one or two shots, and I did very little damage to that guy the entire fight. And then you finished, the queen came over there and, and beat the guy for me, so yeah, I'm pretty sure if I was attacking the queen, it, it wouldn't have done anything for me, you know, like that wouldn't have been a thing. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, I gotta zip to town again. <laughs> yeah, same here. I, I keep going back every so often to uh, sell my stuff and, and uh, yeah, you know, I told get you, more space. you get a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's not like greed, guys. Greed was uh, very cool, very, uh, very quick. You went in, you got tons of cash. A matter of seconds, you were ready to go and, and go back and, uh, and do another run all together uh, from scratch. This one, you get a lot of stuff, you get a lot of items, and it's pretty nice because if you need to build up that. Uh, that base of uh, materials to work with. This is the the best place to come in that I've seen so far. You get a lot more loot from this than you do from an average level, um, and, and they're better loot. You know, I get a lot more reds, uh, which are the rares. I get a lot more set pieces, and you know, from what I remember, from what I've been told, you know, the set pieces they're nice because again, they're part of a set. You get special abilities with them, but these reds, these uh, these rare ones, the legendaries. Those can be just as good as any uh, set piece. You just don't oh. get that extra. As of the 15th, they will be just as good. What do you, but they won't have the, the actual set piece bonus. Though. No, but they're revamping. Because they don't... Like... My monk. Pretty much every monk in the game right now is... Ulyan is exploding pop. Because it's just so OP. They want everybody to be able to just say, well, I want to do this build. And they want it to be just as effective. So they're revamping every, well, not every, but they're revamping most of the legendaries and sets. Oh, here he is. Yep. Don't trigger him just yet. 
I mean, I can understand that. That's going to allow people to experience the game in a way that uh, they may not have otherwise been able to do because it just has been the conditions of the Earth. Yeah, because then they can just be like, well, I want to do, like, you know, with you, I want to do a pet build, but I want to do it a fetish build. Or I want to do a gargantuan build, or a dog build, or you know whatever they want to do, they'll be able to do it, right. and it'll. And that's what they're trying to go for. I just hope that, that they're they're careful with that because I mean I like the the idea, but in practice, from what I've seen, the problem with that is it makes all the classes the same, which means you don't have a unique feel for any of them anymore. They just all kind of blur in together because they're all equal to one another. And there's only one way to make them equal to one another very easily. I mean, you can do it, but it takes time, it takes effort, and uh, you have to actually plan them out. Uh, do we need to both talk to this guy, or just you? We're going to have waves. <sighs> just so you know. Okay. You go wave ahead and after wave, wave of cow. Mm -hmm. I'm standing right here, because guess where they're coming? Right on top of me. Uh, yeah, so I basically can sit here and watch, because I don't think I'm going to be able to survive. Uh, this wave and live. Holy crap. You just killed everybody in like one shot. <laughs> all, I, all I saw was bodies flying in every direction and they all died. So, let me add it again. Jeez. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> yeah, my body. There it goes right there. I don't know what that is, but that that's is an incredibly power, powerful. Man. Yeah, that's incredibly powerful spell right there. Now I can yeah. see why everybody would use it. See how um yeah, look at that. they all have every single one of them above their head? Yeah. That's an exploding palm that I have on them. And when they die, they explode and do six thousand three hundred and five percent damage to everything around them. Nice. So yeah, in large groups like that it just becomes even more OP so. Easy. Gets easier the larger they are. Yeah, and so that's kind of uh I don't know, I like it, but Again, if that's the only one you can use because it just is that powerful, making the other ones kind of match to that would be, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, that would be very tricky without just basically making everybody overpowered to begin with, you know? Well, remember, there is really no OP in back. this game because the stronger you get, the deeper into the greater rifts you go, and the deeper you go, the stronger the mobs get. That's, so it, that's it'll true. Be, um, Unless you take account for the one that you just had right there, which allows you to kill enemies quicker and faster, regardless of how many there are. In fact, the more there are, the easier you're able to do it. Even uh, if the oh, enemies get harder. Know, man. When when I get up into the 60s for greater rifts, they don't die in one hit. No, but they're taking a lot more damage than any other class could really deal out, or any other uh, set of the same class that you're using can deal out at that moment. So. I don't know. I mean, it's it's interesting. It's something we'll have to look at and see how they I change mean, it with actually, this new uh, patch. The the guild leader and his wife. I'm gonna give them a shout out. It's Viper and Stella Rowe in our clan. They run witch doctors, and they were actually killing things way faster than me. Uh, I mean, they were definitely in the last uh, video that we shot with them. They were kicking some serious butt. Uh, but guys, if you can see right here. I got uh, three set pieces, I got several legendaries, and we're going to have to go through each and every one of them uh, in between this video and sh check them out and just see uh, which ones might be worth using and which ones aren't. And I'll give you guys a rundown of uh, which ones I end up using. I'm going over each and every one of them right here so you guys can pause on the screen if you want to see that. And uh, you guys are more than welcome to leave comments down below and let me, get, let me know what you thought I should have uh, used. And have you seen these items? Uh, did you see something that you've been you know, just drooling about? Or, uh, you know, are these items that you've uh, already gotten and you kind of gotten better already? I would love to hear your thoughts on the game. Again, I want to thank you all for coming out. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will definitely catch you all next time.